What is up, everybody? My name is Mr. Official. Today, we are back with another video. Today, we're going to be coding something very special. It's not that hard to code, believe it or not. And it's actually a pretty fun one. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this. It's actually coding a specific plugin that Dream uses often. So, in your, you know his Minecraft Manhunt videos. He has a compass tracker plugin. And in that plugin, it allows you to have compass point to whoever player you want to track. So, um, essentially, what you could do with this is play my manhunt so the only way to get that plugin though is by going onto his patreon and p paying money which personally in my opinion is super super scummy considering it's a very simple simple plugin to make and we're gonna make it here because you know it's kind of a scummy thing to do to sell uh, your plugins like that I, I don't know maybe if it was like a more complicated plugin i would understand that but for something like that i really think he should give away for free and because he's already making tons of tons of money he doesn't really need a Patreon at that point. Anyway, guys, so let's go. Let me go and show you what this plugin does. So pretty much what, what you can do is you can do slash track. Normally, if you do slash track, it just says, who would you like to track? And I'm going to be like, okay, let's track this guy over here, the jelly butter, slash track him. And then it says set tracker to this guy. So that And my you can already see, like, in that moment, the compass is already pointing directly towards him. So you can already see off the bat, the moment I did that command there, my compass immediately pointed over to him. And if I go over here, let's say, it's going to point to him. Now, if I were to do something along the lines of if I face like this way or something, it's going to point to his uh, location, and it just won't matter. So if we move him real quick, so as you can see, he has just moved, but my compass still faces this way. This is actually done on purpose, and the way to update it is by right-clicking. Ready? Look at the compass, and it bounces right back. Pointing compass over to the jelly butter, and you can see it points right to him, like so. Without further ado, let's get back into the code. Okay, so in the code, you want to do a couple things off the bat. First thing we want to do is we want to have this method right here. Now, this is going to make it so that we can reference this exact plugin um, when we need to. So we can re exact reference the main class, which are going to store a variable. So the rest, you know, the deal, make the command, make the listener, make this, everything else, yep. So in here, we're going to have a simple variable, we're going to call it player, it's going to be called the hunted player, and we can just do it like that, and that will just instantiate it for now, and we don't need to come back to it until later. So the next thing we want to do is go into your command, which I already have um, set up, we want to put this line of code here, that is going to make it so if we do plugin dot and then we, oh, if we go into the code real quick, if we do plugin dot hunted player, we can access that player from a different class. So let's go into the commands part of it. And again, put this up here, do all that. So getting into the commands part, we can see that the first thing we need to do, obviously, is check if it's a player. If sender is instance of player, go ahead and continue to code. Uh, we don't really need to do anything else for that. We want to check if args dot length is greater than zero, which means if I type out a command like if I do slash track, there are no arguments, so the arguments equal zero. Okay, but we don't want that. We have to have to have them specify a player inside of it. Like so we want them to add a player to it. So if the args length is zero, it means that they only type in the track command. But if it's one. It means they've typed in a track command plus a player. So we can probably just check right now, but just for the sake of time, we're going to do it like this. Um, so if, if the R's length is not, so if they just typed in the track command, all you want to do is sender dot send message chat color dot blue. Dot blue. Like that, and then whom would you like to track? So the next thing we want to do is we want to make a, another player variable out of the player that was just um given to us. So player player equals bucket dot get player like that, and then inside of here we want to put args one. No, we won't put args zero. So this is going to use the name that we provided in the second half of the command so slash slash track it's going to use the name part it's going to use whatever we specified as the name here 
and turn that into a player variable. So then we want to check if the player equals null. If player well doesn't equal null. Doesn't equal null. Then we're gonna continue. So this just checks if the player actually exists. And if it doesn't, we'll do else sender dot send message chat chat color dot red plus invalid player. And we're gonna re return it. Return it like that. And inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to now set our player. So plugin dot hunted player. We want that to equal. We want it to equal player. Like that. And then we're going to send your dot send message chat color dot green. We can do green plus set tracker to I'm gonna do a little space chat color dot red set tracker to plus get name of the player. So we want to actually get the name from the hunted player instead of this variable that we made. So plugin dot hunted player dot get display name like that. Next what we want to do is we want to update the compasses from that point forward. So we don't want to have to have them manually update the compass there because we can do it ourselves. So we're going to do four player online players. Oh, let's do it like that. Online players. And then bucket dot get online players. So this is going to make one variable for all the players on the server. And then if online players dot get inventory dot um dot yeah get item in main hand dot equals or we can do equals equals oh we got get type actually dot get not that can we not do that place dot get type equals equals material dot compass like that so if they're holding it for the players that are holding a compass in their hand we want to online players dot set compass or there's a method called set compass target which makes this really easy set compass target to plugin dot hunted player dot get location so that will set the compass target to wherever that player's location is so we are done here um just real quick i want to set this to set this back to plugin dot hunted player equals no because we don't want to actually have them set a player variable there we just wanted to have nothing there so now going with the listener we want two events here we want the on right click events we can set the player's location and then we want the on death events so that when you die if you are a hunter you can get the compass back so on the death player death event let's do if e dot get player doesn't equal the um hunted player plugin dot hunted player so if it does not equal the hunted player then we're going to continue going this just makes sure because we don't want to give the hunted player a compass to their own location because that just makes no sense so if it doesn't equal the hunted player we're just going to e dot get player dot get inventory dot dot add item new item stack material dot compass there we go and then we have to import no we don't you might have to import uh, uh, item stack but i don't because i've already done this and then on the right click event we want to do two things we want to do a player player equals e dot get player and then action action equals e dot get action so action is the action that was performed like in the interact event i think we've gone over this before and maybe the last episode um so we're just going to first check if action or we're actually check if the player is not if 
player doesn't equal plugin dot the hunted player like that and then we want to check if action equals equals action dot right click air and we want to do these two symbols or which is the or or symbol um, you might need to look those up it's on the keyboard 100% it's above the backslash and we're gonna check or if it equals just right click block like that and we're gonna pop that down so we're checking if they are right clicking anything um, and if they are right clicking we are going to e dot get player dot set compass target to plugin dot hunted player the dot get location and again I have to reiterate this we have to keep on checking if the um, for both of them if plugin dot hunted player doesn't equal null because we don't want to have it like we don't want to have like no player there um, because if there's no player then it's gonna run some errors so just make sure that you keep checking if plugin dot hunted player doesn't equal null and then we will go ahead and you know go ahead send them a message I'm gonna copy it from here like that and we are going to do e get player that send message and we're gonna send it to that so there we go guys we've actually finished coding everything here I'm just making sure I didn't forget anything and yeah no it does not believe I do not believe I did so this is what you want to put in here um, uh, this is what you put want to put in here just so you can get that down real quick take a screenshot of it use it however you like and that'll be all for this video so um, the code for this will be in the description yes it will be in the description um, and I hope you guys enjoyed I'm not going to test it right now because it involves me rebooting everything um, but I hope you guys enjoyed um, I've been getting a lot of support lately on some of the videos which I'm very happy about all the stuff will be in the description I'll put timestamps down below and thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next one peace